Hello and welcome back to New Year New Game. This is where I attempt to play 365 games from my Steam library that I have never played before. This is game 226, Gato Roboto. Gato Roboto is a Devolver Digital published game from one of my favorite game developers out there, which we have played a lot of Devolver Digital's games throughout New Year New Game. And I always mention in the beginning that it's a Devolver Digital game. So it's a, a tad bit biased, but we did come across some of their games that we did not really like as much as uh, other games. That'll happen. Uh, Gato Roboto I have not played, but I have seen it constantly. It reminded me of a app on your phone that you can play that's like attack cats where they have these different types of cats and it's kind of like a uh, I forget what the type of genre it's called but essentially you're summoning a bunch of cats uh, fighting off waves of other monsters and cats and going to the opponent's little fortress at the end and destroying it uh, this game kind of reminded me of that however I don't think that we have a fortress to destroy I believe this is just a platformer type game. So, I am looking forward to seeing how this game plays. So without further ado, let's get in this game. Part 1, new game. Spaceship in space, that's a spaceman in a spaceship. And his name's Gary. Gary to Mission Control. Come in, Mission Control. Mission Control here, over. Commander, I'm getting a signal from a small planet on my patrol route. Coordinates 42069. Nice. Over. Those coordinates correspond with one of our research facilities. Likely a false alarm, Lieutenant. This particular facility has been long since abandoned. Over. Permission to investigate, sir? Over. Approach with caution, Lieutenant. Over. Affirmative, Commander. Approaching target, sir. Preparing for... Oh. Gary! We've lost visual. We're going down. Hold on, kitty! <laughs> Uh, can't move. But I'm alive. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Kitty can hear you. Meow? Huh. Kiki! Hi, Kitty! I have bad news, Kiki. I am trapped inside this ship. Kiki, you'll have to go in my place. Am I really talking to a cat right now? Right, meow? Sorry, kitty. I'm up for a promotion. And I can't afford another mishap. These research facilities generally have a palatable security mech available. Let's see if we can find one. I'll help you guide using your radio collar. Just make sure to listen for my voice. Godspeed. Meow. Good kitty. Alright. So that's the jump button. What's that? Do we just jump over? We do. Oh. Is something wrong, Kiki? Kiki! Don't tell me you're scared of a little water. Meow. It's the only way forward, Kiki. You have to get in there, Kiki. One way or another. Ooh. Oh. Say so they're just gonna stay down there? It's like a Metroid platformer kind of thing. Can't get in there.
Can't get past that. Hey, what's this? Great work, Kiki. Step out on that platform to suit up. Ooh, space kitty. Look at you, Kiki. Somehow it fits. Press up when you want to get out. Now that you are equipped, it's time to figure out what happened here. Meow. <laughs> Shoot, this guy. Good kitty. Uh, how do I shoot? Oh, thanks. Buttons. It doesn't look like there are any other ones to be able to blast that away. Kiki got a health kit module. Kiki, you got a health kit. Maximum HP is increased. Good work, Kiki. Side, see what we can find. Oh, wait. Forward a little too far. Save point to restart point. You can't do anything here. Let's go down. Let's walk my down. You can't do anything this way. Oh, water's bad. Ah, I did it again. I 
Have we been here already? We did it. it! Wasn't quite a boss fight, but it was a, a challenge nonetheless. And this is probably somewhere where we have to, like, eject. Why is this not ejecting? Do I use the mouse key? No. I said to use up. We got this. We can do this. There we go. Kiki got a rocket module. Kiki, you got a rocket. Press O to use it. Demolish bricks. Amplify your jump. Over and out. Woo, we got it back. It says O, but then it shows C. I could have like a rocket boost.
we already been this way? We did, but we didn't have a way to get up there. That's right. Okay. Now we do. Hey, it's safe here. Alright, keep moving. Definitely has that old school Metrovania feel. Ow. It's a rat. Or mouse. Squeak! What's that squealing noise? Squeak! Kiki! Am I getting a bad feeling about this? Squeak! Oh no, it's got its own. Twice that time. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! It's hard to, to run and shoot. Go we'll try this again. Have we done this already? Just. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh. Ow. Gotta take it kinda cool. Ow! And not get hit. thought I was far enough ahead, but we caught on to the pattern. We should be able to get this one this time. Ouch! 
I mean, squeak. Meow? Uh, was that mouse speaking? It appears that I have lost a lot of blood. Keep moving forward, kitty. I'm counting on you. Rats defeated a squeaky foe. Got an achievement. Something tells me I'm gonna need a new upgrade. Uh, glad I didn't fall any further. Ah, uh, Jake's dead. Just uh, rescue the guy. Boy, those uh, rocks sure do form back pretty quickly. Uh huh. What's this? Security facility log number 2312. This is Jimbo reporting. The doctor has gone mad. The security systems have been modified to target all personnel in the compound. Most of my colleagues have either been killed or turned into one of those things. I am fleeing via one of the surface level escape pods. And though I am unsure I'll survive, the trip back. My heart will always belong to the shores of Earth 2. Over and out. Well, alright. Nothing else to gain from this? 
Guess not. Maybe something over here. Nice, Kiki. You've reached the Nexus. All roads lead here. Think of it as a hub of sorts. Anyway, we need to find the laboratory entrance. Let's see what you got, Kiki. Meow. <laughs> Over and out. Let's go right. Hmm. This is the main PC. Hello, PC. Seriously? No need to greet me as if I'm one of your own human. Um. Let's cut to the chase. See these signs? No need to condescend, PC. Yes, I see them. Very good, human. Well, the sign means broken. You want to turn them all into check marks. Like this. This is a check mark, human. Here is your progress so far. <laughs> Excessive flooding in the aqueduct. Not good. Heater core is still affected by several overheating or severe overheating. Ventilation system is all clogged up. Nasty stuff. I can only grant lab access if all malfunctions are repaired. What a con contemptible machine. Let's go, kitty. Haha. What is this? Yikes! Don't shoot! Is that a cat in a robot suit? I guess I'm one to talk. But you! Meow? Listen, maybe we can help each other out. They can modify your gun, but I'm short on fuses. Bring me seven cartridges, and we can talk upgrades. But you! Hehe. <laughs> I'm afraid that I'm losing my grip. We better finish this mission before I croak. Meow! things go down. Ouch! You can't really go up on any of these. So these are breakable. Good to know. I actually think this is where we are going to stop. You can see that we have actually played the game for 26 minutes. On top of the intro and outro that I do, probably going to be a little over 30. 
Uh, yep, we're at 30 right now. So that is Gato Roboto Classic Metroid Vatnia type game is uh, what you would call this particular genre. Reminds you of the old Samus Metroid type games or Castlevania, thus Metrovania. Uh, you explore the different types of maps. I like the silly humor that comes along with it. The old school kind of NES looking design that it has going for it too. I actually wonder if I can just pause it. There you go. It shows the map. Try to prevent anything from like time continuing on. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good game. Do I see myself coming back to play it again? Honestly, Metroidvania type games aren't really my kind of game. However, we did play uh, Bloodstained, which was a Metrovania game, which I really liked and do plan on coming back and playing. With Gato Roboto, maybe. I'm not too invested into the story arc and things like that. It's silly, and maybe I can see myself coming back and playing and finishing it for kicks, but as for, you know, really wanting to get back into it, maybe not. Especially with recent games coming out with Starfield coming out in September and then Armor Core coming out later this month. You know, there's just so many games out there and so many more on their way that finding time to play games as an adult with a job is is rather difficult which kind of kind of stinks this is kind of why i started doing new year new game because i have so many games that i have not played and i really wanted to get through and at least play them once so uh, i'll put it on the list of will plays and maybe we will come back and finish the entire series starting next year when i've got some more free time and i can put out some more videos that i would like to put out of games that I want to play. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.